Israel's war with Palestinian militant group Hamas has entered a new phase with the intense overnight bombing of the Gaza Strip. According to Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, the conflict had moved into a more offensive phase and the country had accomplished a lot. We have entered a new phase in the war. Last night, the ground in Gaza shook. We attacked above ground and below ground, Gallant said in a video statement alluding to the network of military tunnels Hamas has built under Gaza. The instructions to the forces are clear. The action will continue until further notice. Later on Friday, Israel stepped up its air campaign on the Gaza Strip, turning hundreds of buildings and thousands of houses into rubble. Witnesses said most of the bombing was concentrated on areas around two hospitals, Al-Shifa and the so-called Indonesian Hospital, located in Jabalia district of northern Gaza. The strikes left wide craters in the streets and flattened many buildings. The devastating conflict erupted after Hamas militants carried out a shock cross-border attack on Israel on the 7th of October that left 1,400 people dead, most of them civilians, according to the Israeli officials. According to the army, the Islamist group has also taken some 229 people to the Gaza Strip as captives. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Tuck, warned on Saturday there was the potential for thousands more civilians to die if Israel presses a major ground offensive in Gaza. Israel's army relentlessly hammered at the territory on Saturday after fierce overnight bombardment that rescuers said destroyed hundreds of buildings three weeks into a war sparked by the deadliest attack in the country's history. More than 7,700 people have been killed in the Gaza Strip, including some 3,500 children, according to the territory's health ministry.